Are you wondering what you should expect after stopping the birth control pill? Often, doctors and nurses warn you about side effects or complications and things to watch for when you start your birth control pill or other birth control method. But when you're ready to stop them, do you know what to expect? In this video, you'll learn 10 ways coming off your combined pill or other combined contraceptive method could affect you so that you're prepared and do not have to worry if they do happen. Hello, I'm Dr. Sylvia, a general practitioner and health educator with Ask Away Health. On my channel, I share health information videos that teach you about your body and help you live well. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and please click the notification bell so that you know every time we publish new videos once a week. The hormones in the combined contraceptive pill can cause many different side effects including irregular periods, headaches, breast soreness, and so on. You could also get similar effects from the contraceptive patch or contraceptive ring, which contains similar hormones, estrogen and progesterone. In this video, I'll be talking about what you can expect after you stop using any of these methods. And they could happen even if you've only used them for a few weeks or several months and years. So let's get started. Number one, you may lose a little weight. Some women may experience weight gain when they are on their combined contraceptive method. A study on two different groups of women, one group using the combined contraceptive pill and the other using a placebo, showed that both groups gained weight during the study period. However, the increase in weight was slightly higher in the group that had the combined pill. Now, other studies do not show a clear link between taking the pill and gaining weight. The summary of this is that there is no direct link between gaining weight and being on the contraceptive pill. But some women do report that while they're on the pill, they gain weight. So if you're in that category of ladies and you stop taking the pill, you may find that you shed a few pounds. However, don't be expectant of any significant weight loss. And if you do need to lose weight, watching your diet and exercise are a lot more effective than just stopping the pill. Number two, you may develop irregular periods. After you stop taking the pill, it can take a little while for your periods to resume their natural pattern. Remember that while you were taking the pill, the hormones in the medicine have kept your natural hormones suppressed. This action stops the release of an egg every month, that is ovulation. So the withdrawal bleeding that you experience while taking the pill is as a result of the effect of those external hormones on your womb tissue. After stopping the pill, that effect goes away and gradually your natural estrogen and progesterone start responding to your biological signals. That way, ovulation resumes with menstrual bleeding as the natural outcome. In most women, it can take two to four weeks for the first bleeding to happen after stopping the pill. Then the next bleed is the beginning of your natural period. Now, some women may find that it takes them about three months for their own natural cycle to re-establish itself after coming off the pill. And in that case, experiencing irregular menstrual bleeding is not unusual. Other factors apart from the pill can also affect the return of your natural cycle. And they vary from one woman to another, so that explains why the return of the period after stopping the pill can be different for so many of us. And these factors are things like the state of your health, if you're under any stress, conditions like PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, exercise and your weight and so on. If you would like to learn more about PCOS and natural methods to improve your cycle, please check out this video on my channel here. Also, please always discuss any change in your usual pattern or irregular bleeding with your doctor so that we can be sure that something more serious is not going on. The third thing that you might expect is heavy periods. Well, after stopping the pill, you may find that your periods are heavier with abdominal cramps. And this will be the case, especially if you did have heavy periods before starting the pill. So, 
if you had irregular periods before starting the pill and enjoyed regular reliable flow while on the pill you may find that the irregular pattern resumes after the effect of the pill hormones has come out of your system the fourth thing you can expect is a quick return to ovulation and your fertility after stopping the pill. Many women want to know when is the earliest time ovulation can happen after stopping the pill. Of course, ovulation is closely related to your periods and taking the pill month after month suppresses the release of an egg from your ovary. Now you've stopped taking the pill, you can expect to start ovulating almost immediately as your natural cycle resumes. Some studies suggest women ovulate within one month after stopping the pill and most women can expect to fall pregnant within 6 to 12 months of coming off their birth control pill. So if you're not ready to fall pregnant, please use an alternative birth control method and don't assume that the return of your fertility will be delayed. In addition, the pill does not have a permanent effect on your fertility. Number 5. Headaches after starting the pill, you may develop headaches or find that they're happening more frequently. So for most women who experience this, stopping the pill can prevent the headaches or reduce how often they were happening. However, there are different types of headaches. So it's important to speak to your doctor. So the right treatment, which could be stopping the pill or switching to an alternative formula or extending or making longer your pill free period as a solution to the headache can be considered. And the sixth thing you can expect after stopping the pill is changes to your cancer risk. The combined birth control method, that's the pill or the patch and the ring, provide protection from ovarian cancer, endometrial cancer or womb cancer, as well as large bowel cancer. This protective effect also continues long after stopping the pill, which is a plus. What about other types of cancer? Here's what we know. While you are currently using the combined contraceptive method, there is a small increased risk of breast and cervical cancer. However, this risk reduces over time after stopping the method. And so by 10 years after you've stopped using the pill, your risk of either breast or cervical cancer is the same as another woman who has not used the birth control pill. Number seven, mood changes. Women taking the combined pill or combined method may have different mood related experiences. For some, the pill does not affect their moods, while a small number may have negative mood related experiences, especially depression. And still others with PMS or premenstrual tension find that taking the pill helps to regulate their own natural hormones and making them less prone to anxiety and low mood or feeling irritable. And so if you did experience that balancing effect while you were on the pill, then you may start to feel moody after you stop taking it. However, low mood symptoms that developed after you start taking the pill can be reversed by stopping it and looking for alternative birth control methods. And number eight, changes to your sex drive or libido. Your sex drive can be affected by many different factors like your age, your state of health, social and psychological factors, as well as medication. Please check out my video here where I talk about the causes of low sex drive in women. But studies in this area do not show a clear link between sex drive and using the combined contraceptive method. While some women on the combined pill say they experienced a reduced sex drive, others say it didn't affect them and others felt the, the pill boosted their libido. So after stopping the pill, a small percentage of women, not more than 15 out of 100, report they are more interested in sex. Okay, number nine, we're nearly there. Your acne may get worse. Well, most combined contraceptive methods effectively improve skin breakouts or acne while you're taking them. So you should know that if you've enjoyed that benefit, it may change and you may start experiencing new breakouts after stopping the method. It would help if you thought of other factors that affect your skin health, including exercise, your diet and skincare regimen, and consider alternative treatments 
that could improve skin breakouts. And finally, number 10, improved blood pressure. A big study on the effect of the combined contraceptive pill on women's blood pressure showed that it's a small effect and that about two out of 100 women will develop a high blood pressure within two years of starting the pill. So it's vital to monitor your blood pressure while taking the combined contraceptive pill or method. And if it does cause your blood pressure to go up, this will usually come back to normal after stopping the pill and switching to an alternative birth control method. So these are some of the effects or changes that you may experience after coming off the combined contraceptive method, the pill, the patch or the ring. Let me know if you found this video helpful and please give it a like and drop a comment down below. Tell me which of these changes surprised you. You can also visit our new Ask Away Health community forum to discuss your thoughts about this topic and a host of other women's health issues. Just visit bit.ly forward slash the community room to join. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that you know when our new videos go live every week. Next time we're going to be looking at factors that could affect your cervical smear results so I hope you'll join me for that video. While you're waiting for that one to come through, check out these two here and I'll see you again soon.